All right, so if your toilet is leaking and you've already verified that the fill valve's good, the toilet tank lever's good, and the flapper's good, the least common repair is gonna be the flush valve. We are going to remove this and we can see the water leaking by this flush valve. And you can see it's just wiggling and bending. Step one as always, shut off the water supply. Drain the toilet tank. Remove the flapper. We just want to get this out of the way. You can see where it's cracked right there. You want to get as much water out of this tank as possible because we are going to be removing the tank from the toilet. A couple ways you can do this. You can use a turkey baster. You can use a small cup. You can use a shop vac. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to keep these screws stationary. I am not going to move them. I'm going to loosen the nuts. This seal has been on here a long time. It's going to hold the water in and then I am going to dump it into the bathtub. Remove your supply hose. With the other hand, grab your flathead screwdriver, set it into the bolt. You don't want to turn this at all. You just want to try and turn the nut on the bottom. Do the same thing for the other side. From here, slowly lift up. Try not to move it side to side to minimize how much water is going to spill out. Head over to the bathtub. And dump it. Set it on our towel. Push these old bolts through. We don't need these anymore. Remove the old gasket. Grab a big pair of channel locks or a plumber's wrench, and then we are just gonna loosen this. You are definitely gonna need a wrench to do so though. Remove the old flush valve. Grab your new flush valve, remove this flapper. We are not going to use this flapper. Remove the locking nut on the bottom. Install the new flush valve. The way I do it is I'll put it at like a 45 degree angle. Flip your tank over while keeping pressure on the New flush valve. And then you are definitely going to have to use some type of pliers to tighten down on this. If you just hand tighten it, it will 100% leak unless you are incredibly strong. I usually try and go for one full rotation after hand tight. If you want to replace the old gasket, go for it, but I just use the old one because I've never had any issues. Grab some new tank to bowl toilet bolts. It's very important that they're new. When I prep these, I'm just using the bolt and the o-ring gasket that's all that's going to go inside of the toilet tank set your tank onto your toilet bowl insert your tank bolts one mistake i see a lot is putting these washers under the bolt and then using the seal that creates a gap and it will leak. Gasket, 
washer, then wing nut. Hold down on the bolt inside of the tank. Do not tighten all the way down. Just barely get it hand tight because you want to evenly tight these, tighten these down. Once it looks even, you can see if it's sturdy. This is not moving at all. Reinstall your flapper. Reinstall your hose. Hook up your supply hose to the fill valve. Turn on your water supply valve. Our final test is going to be to see if we have that gasket on good enough and that locking ring on the flush valve tight enough. When you flush, that is when the leak from that spot will come out. Looks like we are good. Dry on both sides. While this is the hardest repair out of the four reasons why your toilet might be running, I hope that this video can help you complete this fix. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dave Spates. See you on the next repair.